Oh, there's another one. City deer. Not scared of anything. But here we've made it. The legendary island of doom. Just kidding. But this is promising. Is this the island's bottle dump? Just building parts and um, a lot of granite. So that very well could be the island's bottle dump. I'm sure it's picked over, but we'll check it out. This is... I didn't even know I was going to do this today. The island. I'm so amazed stacked up that I'm actually here. This is the softball field. There's the there's the playground. And the pavilions are over there. This is the most legendary. This is what makes this island so legendary. Rumor has it, it still turns. A lot of poles out here with some porcelain spool insulators. Over there you got the uh, throne. A lot of garbage. Here's the bathroom building. Might have already sat back. Or what's left of it. The main building. There's a tent over there, so we're not want to encounter any homeless people. So we're not heading that way. There's a hole. Plastic. But yeah. This is the main building. It's pretty long. This building you could rent. This is nuts. We're heading over to the bridge. Most people use the bridge to get here since the water's so low. It's, you can just walk. Oh, I see it. The bridge is right there. It's the old Sock River Bridge that they moved here in 1951, back when this place was a park and a Sunday hangout. That's the bridge, right there. Oh, there is water down here. I thought this would be dried up. But, yep. Wow, there's a ton of garbage down there. But there's a whole lot of 50s bottles in that muck. This place is pretty surreal. This island opened in 1949 with only a pedestrian bridge. The current bridge was moved here from Sartell in 1951. It's called Sportsman's Island because it was owned by the country club and still is what is was originally rented and built up as a park by Sportsman's Club which I don't think exists anymore. Not positive on that, but um, yeah, it closed. There is no exact date as to when it closed. It was either in the it was stopped maintained sometime around 1970, but people st st kept coming here as a park until they're up sometime in the mid to early 70s, 73, 74. 
And then they put up a Jersey barrier so you could no longer drive on the island if the bridge was not safe. And then, obviously, as you just saw, the wood from the bridge is completely gone. And it's just fallen into the river and rotted. This place is um, one of the most legendary abandoned places in Minnesota. And I've driven past it thousands of times. And of course, this is the first time I've actually gone onto the island to see the river so low. It's odd. It's a big granite chunk. But, um, yeah. Here's the main building. I might come back here on another occasion, but I'm definitely not going to stay long. I mean, we're technically leaving right now, but there's some insulators. Those aren't really ones I want, though. Spray paint cans and stuff. This place is quite... It's a lot like what I expected, but not at the same time. Here's the famous spot, Sportsman's Island car. There's some houses over there, right in there. They can probably see us right now, but they literally look on their island, look over and watch over it. But obviously, bad people still come here. Spray paint, squatters, Addicts, all those horrible people. This layer is just a ball field. There's really nothing over. No buildings over here. But yeah. The legendary America around. The throne. Which I'm not sure what that was about, but. Definitely. Definitely interesting. We're heading back out. I don't want to stay here any longer than I have to. I might come back in the future though. But until then, this will probably be the end of the video.